September 25th. Um, I think we're coming to the end of the, uh, this is the third day now of the uh, Passover. Um, I wanted to read something here in Acts uh, 2.17. This here supports everything that's being, that's happening today, what people have seen. And also, he says in here, in the last days, okay, when everybody's doing this, okay, these are the last days. Um, I've got people on this channel here that's probably subscribed onto my thing that are probably even demonic, evil, wanting to, uh, you know, see what they're getting done. You know what I mean? Because they're 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 loving what they're seeing, and sure enough, they're gonna get a lot of people because uh, a lot of people are earthy, worldly, and uh, they just can't be helped. You know, it's just the way it is. The Lord knew this before they knew it. Um, these demons that turned against the Lord, they're all soon gonna be in hell. Yeah, so whatever little fun they've had these past 6,000 years here on the earth because they were cast out of the heavens, uh, their little time's done here, and they're fixing to go to hell. I guarantee you that. I know for certain. That's why I'm here. And that's why I've got this little angel blowing a trumpet above my head. You know what I mean? That's why it's there. It's there to let those demons know too. That their time is up. That they're finished. Yeah, I may have lost this worldly possession stuff, but this don't matter. Because my rewards are going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Yours is going to be in the pits of hell. Everybody that's followed the devil is not going to like where they're going to be going. Uh, Revelation 3 says, You did not deny my name, so I'll spare you the moment of trial that's coming upon the whole world. And see... When I show that picture, that's to let those demons know, too, that their time's up. They always knew that it was going to be around the Super Bowl. That's what the 50th Super Bowl was about. See, because there's 49 yards on the one side, 49 on the other side. That's where they get separated. But anyhow, um, here we go. In Acts 2.17, it shall come to pass in the last days, says God. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. All these things have been happening. And these are the last days. And after, the, uh, after he takes the chosen that did not deny his name, he's going to be coming back. And he's going to cast all these demons into hell. Why do you think they're doing everything as fast as they can do it today? Faster, 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 faster. Because they know these are the end times. And they got to do what they're doing real fast. America's going to be set up to be destroyed. And it, just like it says in Revelation 18. They're pushing you guys so fast, you're not even slowing down to take the time to see what's going on. Or they're making it to where you can make some money, but you got to better hurry up and make it while you can make it. Because it's going to come to an end. You know? All this money, everything that you see, it's an illusion, you know, because what good is it? What is, that's what the Bible even says. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his eternal soul? And what is it worth? What do you think you could offer to buy? You think you, you can't buy it back? Not with everything that you've done in this life. You know, it would have been better had you uh, picked up the cross and followed God, Jesus Christ, and... Uh, Maybe saved some other souls along the way, you know. That's exactly what I've been trying to do. I've got people that'll mock me on here. Come on here and, you know, mock me. Just like they've been mocking the Lord, you know what I mean? It's going on, they're mocking mother. That's what the devil does. That's what the demons do. You know, and they're here. You know, just trust me on this. They're here. and they're, But their time's short. They know it, too. And it's a fact, there's going to be a lot of people that they get, um, but they're worldly, they're goats, you know what I mean? They always were goats, you know? I hear some people saying, I'll pray for them, they're goats, you know? I mean, there was nothing good about them the whole time they were here. They're nothing but goats. I don't want to pray for a goat to come into the kingdom. The Lord don't want them. 
That's why he's separating them. Yeah, I pray for those that are asleep that need to be awoken to realize that whatever little things they think they have in this world, they ain't got, it's a, an illusion. And my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my ho of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. A lot of people have been doing this. I mean, I've done it a lot. I've sat there and told you about the uh, shepherd's prayer from Bush 23 when the Twin Towers went down. Seven years passed. Obama doubled that. Seven years passed. And uh, when Obama doubled it, Psalms 46, the housing market crashed. 777 points. There's three sevens. Then you look at what Bush did. Seven years passed. Obama did. Seven years passed. And then the Pope showed up. And then that's when the Pope came in his own name to a house divided. And it's written in the Holy Bible. And then Revelation 18, 6 says, double their portion three times. I've done all this stuff, man. I put it on here. Nobody comments back on this stuff for some reason. They don't want to believe, you know. I, I share this stuff with people all the time, the photos. And a lot of people go, oh, man, I hope not. I hope not. I'm like, Why? You know, the Lord Jesus said, I'm not from this world. Are you afraid of being with Christ or are you, are you afraid because you're a goat? Most people are, I've had these demons shake and tremble in front of me. Let me tell you something. They might act all tall and both bold right now, some of them, but some of them have literally trembled in front of me. I guarantee you, they know they don't stand a chance for what's coming up. They're going to be cast into the pits of hell. It even says in here, when uh, Michael comes down, he's going to put chains on the devil and just cast him down like he's a wet noodle. What does that tell you? Yeah, they got no, the only power they got is the power you give them. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapors of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great notable day of the Lord comes. And it's it's at hand. It's getting ready to happen. You know, and people are just in a rush. You know, they don't think it's happening yet. Boy, it's going to be a dark day for them when it does. And it shall come to pass that whoever so shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You see, you can't just go to church on Sunday and say, Save me, Lord, you know, and then can't wait to get home to watch, uh, you know, the games on TV and all week rushing after your money and mocking everybody that's trying to prophesy and warn you that there's more to the story than what you think your pastor's been telling you. You think you're going to go up into heaven and uh, you're going to celebrate at one hour out of the week or something and do what you want? No, it's not going to be nothing like that. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did in him in the midst of you. As ye yourselves also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. whom God has raised up, having loosened the pains of death, and because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. A lot of people are going to be very shocked at what's coming up. Just want to give you a heads up, man. This is the time. This is the time that you need to be standing up, bold, just as it says in the Holy Bible being bold because the hour is very close we're going to be taken any moment and then the devil he's going to have a lot of people because they were not bold as they ought to have been trust me what I'm saying here these demons they know they're not going to win they know it they're only after your soul I'm telling you right now wake up don't be deceived any further Seek the Lord Jesus Christ.
And I would quit playing these devil's games now, man. Because the more you keep rushing doing what he wants you to do, the more you're help, helping him achieve his goals in these final hours. Stop and think about it. I'm warning you right now. Stop and think about it. it what will it be worth to you? For whatever it is you think you're getting right now, ask it. Weigh it out. 